I attended a conference the other day about a system of parenting or, or uh, caregiving called Trust-Based Relational Intervention, or TBRI. We use a bunch of behavior management tools at Skookum House that are uh, TBRI inspired, I might say. Anyway, I, I learned something about brain construction that I wanted to share with you. There is a bundle of nerves that connect the two hemispheres of the brain together. It's called the corpus callosum. It plays a huge role in language processing. So uh, uh, understanding what someone's saying to you or finding the right words to express what you mean. Uh, in babies, the corpus callosum is very large relative to the rest of the brain and it shrinks as the child grows. As it shrinks, it begins to work faster. A large corpus callosum works slowly, a small corpus callosum works more quickly. Here's the crazy thing. Uh, when children are abused, neglected, or otherwise exposed to chronic stress, their corpus callosum can sometimes fail to slim down like it usually does. A child with a larger than average corpus callosum is going to process language slower than usual. For a foster parent who has a child in their home, if that child is doing something that they aren't supposed to and the foster parent gives an instruction to stop, if that child has an enlarged corpus callosum, it might take a moment for those instructions to register in their understanding. Once they do, the child obeys. It takes a minute for the sounds that a foster parent is making to become words in the brain of a child with an enlarged corpus callosum. But imagine what's happening from the foster parent's perspective. Uh, they're attempting to change a child's behavior, giving clear instructions, and that child is definitely hearing them, but not responding right away. It reached the foster parent or to a teacher or anybody else as obstinance. And here's another way that an enlarged corpus callosum can manifest. If you give a child um, like that, a choice between two things, they are likely to, by reflex, choose the most recent thing they heard. And then later they might attempt to reverse that choice um, once the, their language processing catches up to what's happening in real time. So like if you offer a child with an enlarged corpus callosum a choice between oatmeal and cereal, they may say cereal by reflex because it's the last thing you said. And then once you have it in a bowl covered with milk, they say, oh, but I wanted oatmeal instead. To a foster parent, that's gonna read like indecisiveness or sometimes even spite. Without knowledge of this quirk of human development, what it does, how trauma can impact a caregiver or a teacher would incorrectly believe that a child is being obstinate or disobedient or indecisive or spiteful. But that's not correct. The child's experiences have altered the construction of their brain, which makes it harder for them to process language. So they do so slower than you or I expect them to. Fascinating, isn't it? The more I learn about uh, brain science, um, the more I'm fascinated by it. So that's one thing I learned at this particular conference that I thought you might enjoy.